So in the first step that I introduced Padlet, we just uh, created an account. Again, we, we plugged in our teacher credentials. And then I asked you to just look at the gallery and find a, a Padlet that you liked and paste the link in there. So I hope you saw at least something good in there that you could kind of look at and get some ideas from. Now, the second thing, the second option here, if we're going right to left, is to join a Padlet. So if someone were to send you a Padlet link, you could click this join the Padlet and you could paste the link in there. The reason that would be helpful for you to do is it would automatically have you signed into that Padlet. So you would uh, you wouldn't be anonymous. You would be uh, you know ready to go. Now, my recommendation for students is you don't want them to create an account in Padlet. You just want them to interact with your Padlet uh, in anonymous mode. Now, the other thing you can do, and that's what we're going to do now, is to make a Padlet. So when you click on make a Padlet, you'll have all these fabulous options. And I think your teachers and your you have a very um, creative mind. So you'll be able to kind of explore some of these and get an idea. But just maybe I'll go through these briefly to give you maybe a framework to work from. Uh, the Padlet wall, it was the kind of original Padlet, which means you basically can stick content on the wall and other people can also click on the wall and, and add things. So they can add pictures, documents, files, that sort of thing. That's pretty much freewheeling. As soon as somebody clicks on it, it's going to paste it. So this is the most kind of open-ended op option. You can paste things on there and, and whoever you share this Padlet with, if you give them permission to, to paste on there, they can do that. So this is great. Just a generic, let's get going. Uh, the Canvas one is um, you can group things together. So this is a nice board. The Stream one is going to be uh, organizing things from uh, top to bottom. So as soon as you, as soon as somebody posts, it's going to kind of go in, again in a stream. As more people post, the newer comments are going to show up at the top. The older posts are going to kind of trend their way down to the bottom. So that's good for kind of a, a group discussion, that sort of thing. There's a grid which will allow you to put things into nice, neat rows and boxes. So that is a nice, uh, easy to look at format. This one is the shelf, which I'll show you uh, what that looks like. So that's going to create columns that you can actually put. You can see you can put um, categories up here. So that's good for kind of organizing information that you want people to put uh, categories in. The back channel, if you remember, uh, uh, what was it? Today's Meet, I think, was one of those. If you want students to interact kind of live time, you post a question and they start chit-chatting this is a nice thing to do for back channeling, kind of having kids um, type in notes while you're talking. These bottom two are, are relatively new to me. I haven't seen them. So there's a map one. So if you post a map, it'll actually, you can kind of paste things within a map, really cool feature. And then the timeline again for, for history teachers or ELA teachers, this would be great for kind of posting things uh, in, in a timeline format. So that's that. Um, those are kind of your different options to create. So let's dig in and I'm going to actually create a shelf to show you what that looks like. Okay. And then once you get this, it creates a nice clean interface. You can change the um, title. I'm just going to put attendance or choose your own adventure. Okay. You can do whatever you want. You can make a uh, title here. You can give it an icon just by clicking that. You'll see lots of fun here. Okay. You can find the address to this. You can make a unique address if you want to. So uh, I think if you want to make this, I'll just call this fine teachers. Okay, we'll just That'll be what that's going to turn into the, the URL. I can choose the different wallpaper. So there's solid colors, textures, pictures, you name it. Lots of fun. Easy to do. Uh, let me just choose maybe a picture. I think you can even upload your own picture. This will make a nice background. 
Oh, there's the Simpsons. That's always fun. So really a lot of different color schemes. Let's do violet for Pine Valley. And let me just close. So again, lots of different functionality as far as changing a background. You can do color scheme as far as making it, you know, uh, darker. If, if other people want to use it, you can choose different fonts. Attribution. So if you want to have uh, the name of the person above, you can. I usually don't do that again, especially for students. And again, there's lots of different options. Allow viewers to comment on posts. That's usually a good one. You can have reactions. So if people want to upvote, this is usually really good. So if students, especially if they're posting comments or ideas, uh, other people could upvote, meaning they could give it a thumbs up. And then this is a good one again for teachers is require approval. If you want to, you can uh, click this and that will let you approve who posts something. So you get to eyeball it first before it goes live again. When you're using this with students, that's a great feature. And then I would Definitely choose the filter profanity just in case someone wrote something inappropriate there. And once you've gotten that set up, you're going to click next. Oops, I didn't do that. Oh, I goofed that up. That's going to be the URL. There we go. So now notice what happened. It changed the address of my Padlet to Pine Valley Teachers A Wheelock 4 and then PV Teachers was the name. So. I'm going to choose start posting and now I'm in and I'm ready to create. Now, remember, I chose the one that allowed me to create columns. So I'm just going to call this column uh, elementary teachers. Okay. And notice once I click enter now, it lets me add another column. I'm going to put high school teachers. Save. Okay. I'm not going to add another comment. That's all I want. Now it's time for me to share this and I'm going to put this into my uh, post and then it's going to be time for you to add your name to that. So you're going to interact as a participant. So what you'll do is click this when you get to it, whether you're an elementary teacher or a high school teacher, you're going to put a, a, your name. And you can just say what you teach. I teach teachers. Uh, I teach teachers and then notice, and this is the beauty of Padlet and this really pretty much comes along with all of the Padlet, Padlet options is you can upload a file. Again, there are some limitations. You can upload, you know, a really big file like a movie or something uh, that had a lot of uh, memory. You can add a link so you could link to a website. Uh, you can go, uh, you can search for something in Google. You can put your webcam. So that's what I'd like you to do if you don't mind taking a quick picture. And let's not do that. Let's do this. And there we go. And I uh, almost messed it up. And there we go. So I teach teachers. And again, really clean, easy. Once you've chosen one of your options, you can do that. But there are other options you can choose. So if you go to the dimples over here, look at all of these magical options you can add. So you can add um, a film, you can add voice, you can add a screen recording, you can add a drawing, tons of really cool functionality. And if you, of course, make a mistake and want to get rid of your uh, addition, you can just do that. So I've been talking for too long. Hopefully you had an idea of how you can create a Padlet and hopefully your what you're going to do from here is you're going to share, you're going to put yourself in the elementary or high school teacher column. And again, if you're a staff member, please uh, do that as well. And then just, I'm gonna click the, click copy, let me just see. So it says visitors can write. So I made sure that this was good. It is a secret Padlet um, and people can write on this Padlet. So there you have it. I'm going to post this link and hopefully you'll be able to add something to my Padlet as well as maybe give some uh, upvote love to uh, your fellow colleagues. So there you go.